The Pandora Box. There are stacks of them, which can play the arcade games with the lowest latency. We've attached an LED to our 1 millisecond Astro Stick, loaded up Street Fighter Alpha, and put them all in a head-to-head. -head. Oh, and to keep things spicy, we've also added the Raspberry Pi. So grab a cup of tea, and let's see who's going to come on top. Welcome to Team Pandori. Subscribble. John Luke approves this message. As we're not quite sure of the monitor latency, we'll first give you two values to go off. Both running Street Fighter Alpha at default settings on the Dell 2007 FPB. All of our Pandora boxes at the bottom, and above that are the latency tiers. So let's get cracking. First one is the Pandora Box 9D. This one's by 3A and is approximately the same specs as the DX, but only arcade games in one long list. And the 9D is very responsive, 83 milliseconds. Okay, next up is the DX. Similar in spec to the 9D, but with many more features such as save and extra consoles. Latency was not bad at all, a hair behind the 9D. Next is the DX Special. Same as the DX, with more filler games. No real surprises, it's exactly the same as the DX. But how about the Pandora Box DX Saga? This is a copy of the DX Special from a different factory, and also $20 cheaper. Surprisingly, exactly the same latency. It's even compatible with Pandora DX. Next up is Pandora running on the original Pandora Box DX. And the result may surprise you. We have 10 more milliseconds of latency as we needed to change the emulator in order to change aspect ratio. And the same applies for the Pandora Box DX Special. Next up is the Pandora Box EX. 3A really did upgrade the specs of the system, as it's even capable of playing PSP. And this box got 130 milliseconds of latency. Next up is the Pandora Box 10th Anniversary. This one has added systems such as Atomic Wave and Naomi, but how is latency on Street Fighter Alpha? Twenty milliseconds quicker than the EX, we have 110. The next model is the Pandora 9H. This can be seen as the weaker sibling to the Pandora Games 3D, and it had a few Dreamcast games on it too. The 9H was pretty slow, 167 milliseconds. So what about one of our favourites, the Pandora Games 3D? It uses the Amlogic 812 chip and runs up to the PSP. Comes in just before the 9H at 156. But how about the Pandora Games 3D Plus? It had extra options for controls and adding games. A noticeable latency was the main reason for not really liking this box. We'd say it's pretty unacceptable. Instead, we prefer to recommend the 3D game Saga. It's similar to the Pandora Games 3D, but the system runs completely off the micro SD, making it difficult to break. And this system is pretty nippy, at 113 milliseconds. Next up is the Pandora X2, similar to 3D games, but the system is on the NAND. And this one was quick too, exactly the same as the 3D Saga. So how about the Pandora Games 3D Plus with 7000 games? One big difference is this one has the Amlogic 905 chip. So this board actually plays most games worse than the 9H, with much higher latency. Will it remain last? Let's find out. So the Treasure 2 had PSP and Nomi support, but no way to change the aspect ratio. No signal. It's not working on the Dell. <laughs> Did not finish. And then last up, Pandora Esports. It promised online play and was a bit of a mess.
Even though the game's menu crashed, the result was quite decent. 103 milliseconds. If it wasn't for the jankiness, this would be an upper tier box. Ladies and gentlemen! Third place, Pandora Esports! Second place, Pandora Box DX and its brothers and sisters! And first place, Pandora Box DX! However, once you have the power to fiddle with options and use Run Ahead, the Pi 4 can match the Pandora Box 9D. This has been Amy Chicken of Team Pandori, and I'll catch you on the next one. ta -ra. The problem with the Pi 4 is that PSP games run like absolute Wesley. <laughs>